It's Patrick Hutzel from Intensive Care at Home, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies, and where we also provide tailor-made solutions for hospitals and intensive care units whilst providing quality services for long-term ventilated patients and medically complex patients at home, including home TPN and including non-invasive BiPAP and CPAP ventilation. In today's blog, I wanna talk about a case study from one of our clients actually, who sadly passed away a few weeks ago after prolonged cerebral palsy and after many complications, uh, including he was on BiPAP ventilation, he had a pig line, he had a pig tube, he had a pig pitch tube, he had numerous seizures, he was battling pneumonia and so forth. Now, why do I wanna bring up this case study today, not only to pay homage to our client, but also uh, bring up issues with NDIS funding. You know, he was obviously funded 24-hour intensive care nursing because of his high complex needs, because if it wasn't for our 24-hour intensive care nurses coming into the home, he would have spent um, his time in intensive care instead. That's how unwell he was. Um, and of course, um, the NDIS, who was the funding buddy for our lovely young man, um, said a few weeks before our client passed away that um, he can be looked after by enrolled nurses instead. Right, That's pretty much like bringing enrolled nurses into intensive care and letting them look after a patient on ventilation with a pig line, with a central line. Um, so if it doesn't happen in intensive care, why would it happen in the community? So we do understand that, you know, a lot of our clients, you know, are constantly battling to getting the appropriate, uh, clinically appropriate funding. And we're obviously supporting them all the way along because, you know, there is enough evidence that intensive care nurses at home can keep people out of intensive care, which is bread and butter in our service. And I just want to, you know, appeal to the NDIS that the clinical evidence that's provided for someone at home on a ventilator is overwhelming that they need intensive care nurses 24 hours a day 24 hours a day and you can actually see that in the mechanical home ventilation guidelines where it's documented on our website and the mechanical home ventilation guidelines are evidence-based from over 25 years of intensive home care nursing in germany and over 10 years intensive home care nursing here in australia enough research has gone into it that the only way to keep a client safe at home on a ventilator, whether that's with or without a tracheostomy, is with an intensive care nurse 24 hours a day, especially if there are other complications such as a pig line. Our client needed a pig line for uh, sugar management, blood sugar management, for hyperkalemia management and so forth. So um, the evidence was overwhelming and yet the NDIS um, denied this gentleman um, the intensive care nurses 24 hours a day now uh, in order to unfortunately um, you know confirm everything that I'm saying here is you know the, the client passed away eventually and that was you know inevitable his condition deteriorated but it just you know goes to show once again that the intensive care nurses intensive care nursing at home was appropriate for his clinical condition. It's just very sad that the NDIS and uh, the NDIS doesn't seem to understand what's really happening in the community, what skill level is uh, needed, and uh, to keep clients at home, maximize their quality of life. Apparently, the NDIS is all about choice and control, but if they're withdrawing funding um, that is clinically appropriate, you know, um, it's going to be very difficult to keep clients at home and keeping them out of ICU and maximizing their quality of life at home. Um, so it's an appeal to the NDIS to look at cl clinical evidence very closely, uh, look at doctor's letters, nursing assessments, look at our mechanical home ventilation guidelines on our website. Again, they are evidence-based. And um, so that more people can live at home with intensive care nursing 24 hours a day so that we can keep our clients out of ICU at home, get them home quicker, and again, create win-win situations, maximize quality of life for clients and their families, uh, cut the cost of an intensive care bed by around 50%, 
and uh, free up intensive care resources as well. Again, it's a win-win altogether for all parties involved. Now, if you have a loved one in intensive care or you need support at home because you have insufficient support, if you have a loved one on a ventilator with a tracheostomy or even if you're not vent ventilated and you have a tracheostomy, you should still have intensive care nurses 24 hours a day to keep you safe. As I've just explained in my example, it's all about safety. It's all about evidence-based clinical care, which you will see on our website at the Mechanical Home Ventilation Guidelines. Someone at home on a ventilator invasively or non-invasively ventilated or has a tracheostomy needs to have an intensive care nurse with a minimum of two years ICU experience at home um, uh, to keep them safe. And again, that's documented and evidence-based after decades of research. Um, we employ hundreds of years of intensive care nursing experience in the community with our team, with our amazing team of intensive care nurses. Um, as far as I'm aware, in 2022, we are the only organization in Australia that brings intensive care nurses into the home. And that is also third party accredited for intensive care at home. No other organization, as far as I'm aware, in 2022 has achieved that accreditation and has built the intellectual property and the knowledge um, that it takes to provide intensive home care nursing at home. So again, if you have a loved one in intensive care or if you are at home already and you have insufficient support, you should definitely contact us if you have unfilled shifts, if you need um, help with funding with the NDIS, we can absolutely help you. Uh, because you know we are involved in the advocacy and you know we wouldn't be in business if our clients didn't have the funding for the 24-hour intensive care nursing we know how to challenge um, and how to provide the clinical evidence now and if you are an intensive care nurse uh, and you're interested in working for us check out our career section and contact us if you're looking for um, jobs in melbourne or in sydney in the melbourne metropolitan area but also in south gippsland um, also in Sunbury and in Bendigo, um, as well as in Sydney and in Brisbane, please contact us on our career section. We're looking forward to uh, hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next week. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecareathome.com. Take care for now.